Hello and what's up? My name is Trent, or Backwards Tongue, whichever you prefer. Um, I have some things to talk about you today that has nothing to do with each other. Look at those delicious wieners right there. You see them frying. They're a little bit darker, you know, burn on some sides. And it excites me, so I try to put on my mask before I'm interrupted by this asshole. Um, he's with the advertising company, as you can see, because it stopped on potato chips when the game froze. So I'm suing for that. It's kind of bullshit. But, um... They better be the salted kind or I'm going to be really mad. If they're just plain chips, then fuck them. We ain't with that shit, man. But anyways, um, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff that has nothing to do with each other. Kind of like an update, just, oh, you know, some small stories, just other BS. Um, so I'm going to start with the gameplay here. This is Payday 2, in case you didn't know. And um, I'm really loving this game right now. As you can see, I'm using a shoddy. That's my secondary. I actually just unlocked a double barrel, and it's pretty freaking sweet. It, it makes me cry sometimes, though, because as soon as I pull it out and use it, it reminds me of when I dated that one chick that was like 300 pounds, and she lived on a wheat farm. Well, the dude thought it was a wheat farm, but it was actually, he played Candyland a lot, and he got confused, and he thought he was farming candy, so he basically just had um, Twizzlers and Jolly Ranchers stuck out of his ground, and he was pouring fertilizer on them every day, and he thought he had a farm. And he didn't like me coming around, so he took his shotgun out, and uh, it scares me sometimes when I use it. But anyways, I'm loving this game so much. It's the only thing I'm playing at the moment. So if you like playing games with me, and um, nobody does because I'm a lonely person, and the only friend I have is those wieners. Ugh. I'm going to have to put my dick against that vet so I can feel like I'm getting blowjob. Ugh. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully there'll be some flashlights in that safe right there to comfort my loneliness. But... Um, if you do enjoy playing games with me, and if you want to buy this game, it's only 40 bucks, which is pretty good. Unless you want to get the collector's edition like me, because I'm a fucking loser, and pay an extra 20 bucks, and you get a sweet-ass mask and some other stuff. I'm not endorsed, I swear to God. But, anyways, this is what I'm playing right now. I'm, and as you know, I do not have a mic, so what I'm going to do is I am going to get a crappy little, like, Bluetooth mic, just in temporary time until I get my old one back. So I can talk to you as long as my mom's not in the premises. And, um, yeah, so that's how that's going to go down. But um, I love this game. So if you want to buy it and play it with me, that would be cool. I need some friends to play with because I'm just killing the pigs. You know, they want to shoot me. All I want to do is talk over some fucking donuts and coffee up in this coffee house. And maybe have a friend for once. But they're not down. So I'm going to break their cameras that they were taking pictures of their wives with grizzly bear pelts against their titties in one of those crazy porno shoots. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I should probably get into this because this gameplay is going to run here. I'm going to end up watching four minutes of blackness like you always do. I apologize. I don't even know how these things happen. <laughs> but, um, but, blah, blah, blah. so what to talk about? Um, I guess the first thing is, as you know, I'm doing a Far Cry 3 Let's Play on my channel. Um, I have been. That's not gone. It's just, um, I've only had one opportunity to even play it when my mom's not around. And, uh, that opportunity was taken up with my desire, my passion to play this game at the time. So, you know, maybe, um, in a week or something like that you'll see another one. I actually have one video saved that I would have put up, but I accidentally deleted, like, the last minute of it. So I didn't want to just post, like, five minute long videos. So I don't know, I guess I'll add a little bit more to that. Apologize for the cutscene it skipped over, which is pretty unfortunate. It's just not gameplay, which I can go back to. But, um, so yeah, sorry for that. But, um, next thing is... Huh, what did I have to talk about next? Oh, yeah, I went paintballing somewhat recently with my friends. I didn't know about it at first. Like, I was, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit afraid about being hit. Like, not extremely afraid. Um, I'm not too bad with those type of things, but I was a little bit afraid. But that wasn't keeping me back. It just, it, it was just a whole bunch of people that I didn't really know, and I was just... I don't know, I, I prefer hanging out with people I already know, you know, I don't just don't like running in with my dick out and hoping when they suck on it it'll feel good and they won't have eaten anything salty lately or hot that'll burn it, if that made any sense to you, which I know it didn't, so there's that, but I did go, um, I decided YOLO, you know, whatever that means, I don't know, all the kids say it, but not me, um, but anyway, someone took my stuff out of there, but that's okay, <laughs> take the pills, Trent, take the pills. I keep forgetting those those Dre beats over there, man. They're, they're looking good, but um, I'm you know I'm a respectful criminal. I don't steal from people that started from the bottom. Now they're here, so <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But 
Anyways, um, there's uh, that. I went and I got hit um, a few times. Uh, it didn't hurt that bad, it, um, except for the very first hit I got, which was in like the first 10 minutes of me playing. I was against uh, Dirt Mound. I got hit. Um, it, it, it made my armpit go numb. It was like right on my armpit type area. It went numb. It hurt really bad, not gonna lie. Um, but I just kind of walked it off like a man. You know, I grunted a little bit. <laughs> Like that. No, just kidding. They would have thought I had asthma and called the, my doctor, which I don't have. But, um, and then I went into another game later. Um, I actually did pretty good. I think I got like one or two people. And then I ran out of ammo, and you're supposed to just go out when you run out of ammo. But I was a little scavenger, and I went on the ground and picked up spare bullets and put it in my gun and uh, started shooting those. And then, like, I would cover my friend by just holding out the gun and shooting it and then make a little sound, but it wouldn't shoot anything out. I think I tricked him, but, um,. Yeah, that was pretty fun, but then I screwed myself because I got dirt in the gun, and then the next game I tried to play, as soon as I tried to shoot a bullet, it, my gun wasn't working, and they were like, is everyone ready? And I screamed as loud as I could. I was like, no, my gun's jammed. And he was like, okay, go. Like, I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was the gruffle, the grunts I told you about earlier, and it reminded him of his past wife, who was really bad in bed and just made loud noises and was just brutal to his penis or what. But it was pretty, it was pretty messed up, and I was just sitting there while my friends covered me. I ended up uh, shooting, didn't get anybody. Almost shot my friend, which was hiding on the other side of a barrier, and um, or the guy that was on my team. I mean, who was actually my friend too. And um, I ended up. Uh, um, what did I do? I'm trying to think here. Blah, 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 I'm trying to think. Um, oh yeah, I put my hand out, and then as soon as I was taking it back, it got hit, which is kind of BS. Um, but there was that. So, um, yeah. Oh, by the way, at the very end of this video, there'll be pictures of um, everything I talked about. There'll be nice little pictures, is if I can figure out how to make it work. Otherwise, you know, you got screwed out of that. But um, that's all that's there. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention about this game is that you'll see here you get um, one thing, like a weapon, mod, a um, cash, a mask, something like that. And I was playing a heist, and I got I got short barrel for a shotgun. <laughs> I was like, wow, even the game knows I have a small penis. Like, it hurt my feelings. I was like, really? First my parents, and, and my girlfriend, and now you too? It, it made me cry just a little bit, you know? I mean, like, what's next? Like, single shot for a weapon or something like that? Or slow blow or something? I don't know. It really hurt, but I just want to let you know that. Oh, man, I'm running out of time. I'll try to see if I can throw up another gameplay for you of, like, Black Ops 2 or something. But I don't know. I'll try my hardest. But um, we're going to move on to the next story. And that is I went to the farm. My, If you didn't know, you have a farm. I went there, and um, I just uh, it was filling up water for this uh, calf, um, which is a baby cow, in case you did not know. And I was filling it up, and I noticed something floating in there, so I go in, and it's a big-ass rat. And let me tell you, those rats fuck you up. They're not like the rats you buy in the store. Like, my girlfriend has a tiny little rat, and it's really cute, and it has humongous testicles. And it drags around on the floor every time it tries to jump, and sometimes he jumps down, and he lands on him, and he crushes him. And I feel really bad for him, but it's hilarious. Um, but aside from that, a mean little rat. They, one went on my leg one time and bit me, but um, he was just floating in there. He was dead. But the fucked up part about it is, I um, I grabbed a bucket and um, like scooped him up, and as soon as I scooped him out of the water, he farted. Like, he legitimately just shit his tiny little rat pants that he was not wearing, and does not own, and will never have. He just literally, t he just fucking farted right there. It was weird. Cow poop all over the place, and it was pretty messed up because the rat's fart smelled worse than the cow shit. I don't know how it did it. It was impressive, don't get me wrong, but I don't know whether they were feeding them in their little fucking hut of rats and all the underground society shit they had going on. But it smelled fucking bad, man. Oh, by the way, I got you another gameplay here, as you can see. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it shows double barrel shotgun gameplay like I talked about at the beginning of the other one. But, um, it, and it was really weird because uh, the rat, you know... I can understand you want to get your shaving on, but it had perfectly shaven nipples. You know how they have their nipples, like, unhaired or whatever, or lightly haired so the babies can suck milk out of them? Well, this motherfucker was perfectly shaved all the way around. It was like he was endorsed and sponsored by Gillette, if that's a razor company, which I should know because I shaved my balls and all. But 
I don't know. It was it was crazy and impressive. So I guess the moral of this commentary is, you know, shave your rat nipples. I guess that'll be a picture, by the way, at the end if I can figure out how to make it work. But, anyways, I don't know how this happened here, but fucking eagle eyes spotted me from across the fucking room or some shit. I don't know, but it's bullshit. Anyways, the next thing I have to talk about is I imagine all of you are either in school, back in school already, or you're going to be very shortly. I know I start on Monday. You know, I guess it has to happen or whatever. You know, school sucks, but you can get through it. But because I tricked them into thinking I was smart, um, I have to do advanced reading, which means I have to read books over the summer, waste my time on things that I won't understand. And it wouldn't be so bad if the books were good, but they were written in, like, the 1800s and shit like that, or at least one of them was. And I don't know what the fuck it was, but these motherfuckers loved commas. So let, me, let me read you a tiny little bit out of the Scarlet Letter. It might be two, comma, or it might be, comma, two, comma. Doubtless as it was so, comma, although she hid the secret from herself, comma, and grew pale whenever it struggled out of her heart, comma, like a serpent from its hole, comma. It might be that another feeling kept her from within the scene in a pathway that had been so fateful. Holy fucking shit, man. It's like this dude knew that he had nothing better to do with his time than write books that no one likes and no one understands, so he just decided he would go through it and he's like, oh, I'm gonna write it, put as many commas in this book as fucking possible just to fuck with people's heads. I mean, seriously, man, what were you thinking? I don't understand that. I mean, if I had written something like that in class in third grade, I can just hear my my English teacher saying now, oh no, Trent, that's minus five, that's a run-on sentence right there, you can't be doing that stuff. And then I have to go in the bathroom stall with the kid next to me that ate five pounds of roast beef or our school lunch, shitting his pants, I have to listen to that while I'm in the stall biting my dick with anger because she marked off my damn paper. And then, and then those same teachers, they give us books like these that have all those run-on sentences and things. I don't understand it. That's extremely conflicting. So I don't know why they would give us these books, but I don't know. It just makes me mad that I have to read such idiocracy and everything like that. But, um, you know, I mean, if you're going to give me books to read over the summer, at least let them be decent books. Like Harry Potter, I might not like, but at least I can masturbate to Hermione or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what their deal was on giving me these books. And um, she said before I even... Um, before we even left school in the ninth grade, she said, you know, uh, you're probably going to like The Great Gatsby better. I mean, some people, they like um, the, uh, the Scarlet Letter, but chances are you're going to like The Great Gatsby more. So I read the back of the books or whatever. You know, the Scarlet Letter says blah, 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 she's treated badly and stuff. And it turns out just being like her talking about her nipple and like her boob the entire time and our baby keeps sucking on it and no descriptions or whatever. And then this dude who like beats himself and he has big marks on his chest because he's beating himself, some dominatrix shit, which, I mean, that's not too bad, but no video footage or anything, so what's the point? And then on top of that, it's it just a, I don't understand at all what's going on in it. So then I go and I read the back summary, um, the summary on the back of the book of The Great Gatsby, and I'm going to read it for you right now. So it says, blah, 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 um, about guys, blah, blah, blah. When the New York Times noted, gin was the national drink and sex the national obsession. So I'm th reading that, and I'm like, oh, yes. I am not going to mind this book at all. You know, some vapid material for me. I, I, I don't understand where they got off on that description right there. The only thing they talk about that had to do with sex whatsoever is like they said her dress was a little bit short and she looked pretty or something like that. I was like, are you kidding me, man? If they filmed nude films like that these days, no one would watch them. It would literally be like, hey, my boobs are nice. And then the dude would be like, oh, I wish I could like look at them or something. And then they would both moan a lot and then that'd be the end. I don't understand... I mean, it. I false advertising basically is what it leads down to. Quite bullshit, but I mean, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I, I mean, I was tricked. I mean, not tricked any worse than the time where that girl, or who I thought was a girl, was actually a man. But, I mean, basically the same realm of being tricked and just being a terrible situation. So, I was quite disappointed in the fact that that happened, but I guess it is what it is. I got through both of the books, even though I started them like three weeks before school started, as you could imagine, with my stream, you know, schedule and planning and everything like that. But, um, I got through it, and, um, speaking of school, uploads, I know I don't upload that much too often, you know, maybe two videos a week, maybe, eh, I don't know, I don't really keep track of them, I don't write them down in my little notebook, my little pony notebook that I definitely don't have stashed under my bed or anything, keeps all my personal thoughts down, but, um, 
uh, yeah, I don't have it written down or anything, but I know I don't upload too often. I hope you don't mind that, but um, it'll probably only be a tiny bit less often than I do now. Because I just kind of do it casually when I feel like it, like I feel like it right now. Even though I messed this commentary up so many times that I had to redo it so many times. It's literally wasted like 45 minutes of my life, and it fucking sucks. But, um, yeah, I'm just hurrying along with it, so that's good. And, um, you know, you can expect a decent amount of uploads, so... I guess that's all I really had to go through here with all this long-ass commentary that you had to witness. And, by the way, you, you, I don't know if you already saw or you're going to see it. I can't even walk through doors in, in this game, so that's obviously the reason I failed third grade. It, I'm ashamed of myself. But, I mean, I guess things happen. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to talk about. So, I hope you enjoyed this commentary in some sort of way or you got something out of it. I just want to throw in all those random things. Um about just what's happened lately, all these unrelated things, can't really make a commentary about one of them, so I guess I'll just make an extremely long commentary that you don't care about, about all of them. So, um, that was, the, that was all about, I hope I didn't ramble on too much, but, um, I'm gonna let you go here. You should see some crazy pictures of me getting hit by a paintball, me with my $60 deluxe version, or whatever they call it, of Payday 2, I, I, where I got the mask, and I'm gonna take a picture. And I'm going to show you what the mask looks like on me. Uh, not naked, not in the shower. And now with my toothbrush up my butt. So, unfortunately, you came for the wrong thing. But there's going to be that. And then there's going to be some sh perfectly shaven rat nipples, which you should all take. Um, you should all really take um, after, you know, approve of and uh, learn from, you know. Take something out of it. So, there's that. Um, I appreciate you watching and spending time on my videos. I really do. Um, if you want, you can leave a like on this video or just a comment or, you know what, leave nothing at all other than your love for me, which you can't really show over a video. So, you know what, don't even leave anything. I don't care. But I do appreciate you coming by. Um, you can subscribe for more of whatever you, I, you like from me or whatever I'm going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, enjoy these pictures. Um, I love you so much. Clutch rhymes, it's clutch time. We hit it like a free throw. Better hide your girl, cause we jackass. Steve, I get fucked up like prom night. Give D4 your V card. This track was held back because D4's a retard. His bus is shorter, busting the.